So thank you guys again. Um, so I want to kind of, before we go into our questions, mm -hmm. talk about the laws, if there are laws about, against or about domestic violence. Um, I know there's a lot in the United States, but I'll also mm -hmm. go back to Africa, to Nigeria mm -hmm. in particular, mm -hmm. uh, if these ladies know. Mm -hmm. So what, what are the laws uh, against? You know, we, we have a legal expert here that mm -hmm. could probably address the laws yes. much easier than mm -hmm. what I could. But I, I do want to point out that um, the, I, I don't know about the laws in Nigeria, but I know if there are laws. If there but are I laws. know that one of the, the things that makes a difference here in the whole um, realm of domestic violence is that domestic violence is illegal okay and that they will arrest the abuser oh yeah so we, um, we have living examples right yeah so that that does um make a big difference in places um unlike places where it may not be illegal all right so i'm licensed to practice both in America and in Nigeria. Oh, really? So, yeah, I got my license in Nigeria in 1990 and in America in oh, 1994. Wow. Oh, okay. So given that, I can speak briefly on what the state of the law is in Nigeria and also in America. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Let's start with Nigeria. There are laws in Nigeria against domestic well, violence. Well, the point is, is the it enforced? Is, <laughs> no, not even whether it's enforced. Um, I'm one of those that believe that the most important thing is to have the law in the books. Now, do women, Ask, you know, seek out and have those laws enforced, or does the society as a rule try to assist women to enforce it? It's a very difficult process. And why is it difficult? I hate to say, but the process of the law in Nigeria going to court is almost like snail paste. We still have to have a lot of reforms mm -hmm. done before we can actually say the pace can be better, you can get justice justice immediately because when it comes to domestic violence victims it's really important that justice is swift right not right, slow. right right because the slower justice is the more you know oh well forget about it yeah. it's been a long time why do you want to proceed but you know to I hear there is some women they call them women lawyers in Nigeria though the FIDA, Federation okay. of the International oh, Federation what, of okay. Women Lawyers okay yes. I hear they are pushing that and they can actually if you tell them they can file cases against the man and some it, men, and that has deterred some men from abusing their it's wives. not just feeder it depends on the local branch of feeder a lot of feeder branches are out there speaking on behalf of the women and assisting them so you can go to feeder okay. also uh, ministry of women affairs you can also go to them and and then right there's the Nigeria, welfare or something yeah, they have like social a welfare, welfare. Yeah. Um, Right now in Nigeria, a lot of NGOs, non-governmental agencies, can mm -hmm. also help you find shelters in Nigeria. They can also help you in terms of publicize the case. They so there are shelters? There are shelters in Nigeria. But they can also who wants to go to the shelter? Because if, you, if your abuser is a powerful man, what happens? But you know, that's really, <laughs> the, worst, hide you yeah, yeah. Well, that's really the worst case scenario in terms of if your abuser is a powerful person. But remember, that market woman that is being beat up, if she goes to the shelter, the person that has beat her up will not be able follow to follow her do, to the shelter. Know, mm -hmm. Follow her to the shelter but, because yeah. there will be consequences. The issue is, are we going to absolutely be able to stop domestic But are there, shelter, are there shelters all over or is it just like in Lagos? Let's say in the rural areas, or in Enugu, mm -hmm. all these other places, no, they have the shelters. I oh, understand that the rural areas in Nigeria are a special case. And I say that with all love. love. <laughs> because it's very, very, what happens to women in the rural areas is very disheartening. It is, yeah. It is very disheartening. Yeah. And so their case is more difficult. But you know, better late than never. Gradually, gradually, definitely, modernization will get to the rural areas. So we have laws in Nigeria. Yes. We have shelters. Yes. So if you're abused, you should seek out those laws. You should You've seek out. You talked about feeder. You Who can else? go to feeder. There are non-governmental agencies that can assist you. You can go to your Ministry of Women Affairs, Social Welfare, and believe it or not, sometimes the police. Will no help. help. You. Well, go to your friends. You know, you have, you have, have to speak out. Speak, speak up. Go to your friends family. That can help. You know. Friends that can help. Friends Not that can help. Who tell you to go say, back. To go uh, back. But mm -hmm. 
and in america we do have laws and you talked about if someone gets a restraining order on you then you probably won't be able to get a job yes so can you elaborate on that yes. i know we talked about it before we got here okay in america that it's wonderful because we have several laws against domestic violence and mm -hmm. there are consequences of those of being of a domestic violence order being issued against you mm -hmm. so if you're a woman and you are here in America, the first thing you do is, you know how to dial 911? Please do. You know how to go to your local police station? Please do. Because see, the cops, if the abuse is so much and the cops review it, all they need to do on the spot, they usually have judges or commissioners that are a phone call away. They can issue what we call emergency protective orders, EPOs. Those are really good for like three days, four days, and the police can use that to either kick your abuser out of the house or to you know assist you and protect you you can also go to your superior courts all over you don't necessarily have to give your abuser a notice that you're going, going to call to, yeah. if you are afraid and they're open 24 7. there are people there that will help you complete the forms and the judge will more often than not review it and issue a temporary restraining order on the spot now for the abusers out there understand that there are consequences for your abuse. If that's going to make you stop it, then let it happen. If you have a domestic violence restraining order against you, be it civil restraining order mm -hmm. or criminal restraining orders against you, understand that your name and information immediately goes into the uh, Department of Justice, Justice Database, DOJ. So if your information goes into that DOJ database, mm -hmm. if you're looking for work, that's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem because it's going to be out there. Tell me, what employer out there really wants, wants to, hire to hire somebody, somebody who's an abuser? Yeah. Who is an abuser? Right. Nobody wants to. So be a bit selfish and right. use yeah. that yeah. if that's what's going to make you to stop. So let me let me just kind of go around and let's talk about this. You know how we can actually help prevent. <coughs> domestic violence what would you tell like your friends the friends out there or the neighbors what are the signs that they, when they see that they probably ask more questions i don't know if you can prevent domestic violence well you can't prevent the recurrence right <coughs> however what i would tell a woman is to create um, what we call a safety pack okay so she's going to pack up a couple of outfits for herself and for her children she's going to put in some some things that she might need over the course of a few days, okay. sanitary napkins, whatever the case may mm -hmm. be, so that if and when she needs to escape, okay. she grabs I like that, that escape. <coughs> excuse me, she grabs uh, the safety pack, okay. and the little suitcase, whatever it may be, and her children, and she leaves. And then that's when she goes to the police, she goes somewhere safe where she can dial 911. Yeah. Cell phones, she right? does what she exactly. She does what she needs to do. Okay. So Christy, we've been talking about, you know, the sim the signs, Science. the symptoms. What advice would you give to like somebody who has friends and they kind of maybe they suspect that there's an abuse? How do they help the abused who will not voluntarily seek help? Um Especially in, in a community where silence is supposed to be golden. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can, the most you can do is to talk to the person oh, yeah. that this is, that you are better than this. Yes. You, know, you deserve better. So this is not something you should just accept yes. and think that it's a part of um, the marriage life. You know that oh okay it's all part of being married so but, what, um, but but i get that but what if they not even admitting to it they have these huge sunglasses what happened to you oh i hit my head on yes of the course app. they'll say oh the dog yeah. or something I right making that it, yeah yes they will give every excuse um and it's it's usually like very normal for the abuser or for the abuse to protect the, the abuser. abuser i don't know why the, but yes the, the beauty of it is that you're doing this now yeah. so anyone that is watching out there share it on your facebook page tell your friends about it you know by watching and getting educated and getting empowered right. by hearing what we've all discussed here then you, that will probably give you ideas on what you need to do too 
yeah. and then also on how the to stop the violence yes, yeah for the younger ones you know it's very domestic violence can be very subtle yes yes the, you know it begins by i like what you said before jealousy yes mm -hmm. yes they want to know where you are 24 7. yes if oh they want to know, that's true i read yes, that yes. they want to know Stop exactly you. where yeah. you are at every, every point in time you yeah. have to call them yeah. if you didn't call them for an hour they want you, where mm -hmm. are you yeah. oh i haven't heard from you it's just an hour i call oh no they have to know because uh, and then they begin to want to isolate you from your support, support system, system, your family, <clears throat> your friends are no longer good enough for you mm -hmm. because your friend now becomes a bad influence. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so when you, you so when you see a friend, when you see your friend, <coughs> who maybe you have some suspicion something is going on, and the person is slowly removing themselves from the circle, you should ask questions. Yes, you should ask questions, should ask questions. especially if you know that in a relationship right. you want to ask. Even though they are going to deny it, but mm -hmm. you still want to talk to them. Yeah, be your sister's keeper, right? Yes, be your you sister's still want keeper. to talk to them. Yes. So those are those signs. Those signs, or they begin to be verbally abusive. Of course, all of this is in the name of the Love. Almighty oh, Love. O V E. But yeah. see that? I like that you use the word subtle because it's all the little subtleties mm -hmm. that creates the environment for domestic violence yeah. to occur. Mm -hmm. And for a young girl, young woman just coming into her own, maybe it's her first boyfriend or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be, and, and he's asking her, where are you going? What time are you coming back? Mm -hmm. Those can look like, oh, he cares. He cares for me. Yes, <laughs> he loves me. Oh, you know? But and he's then okay. As, the, as it begins to escalate, and yeah. it becomes more than just a matter of, you know, um, isolation. Yeah, uh -huh. you to see something wrong with yeah. your friends. Okay. Then mm -hmm. you begin to become embarrassed. You've talked about this guy that loves you so much that he cares so much in this type of way the that you're afraid <laughs> to turn around and say, you know, this guy really is a jerk. <laughs> yeah. and, and because of these reasons. So you keep the facade going on. Going on. And, yeah. and it becomes a facade to yourself, to your friends, to your family, and it it allows the domestic violence to continue to, okay. until you finally get to that point where you're putting sunglasses on. So, yeah, so before we wrap this up, right, so we're going to come back and